Hi, today I'm going to show you how you can use a soldering iron, which is this tool here, to cut and seal and merge fragments of synthetic fabric. Down here we have three pieces of organza, so they're just all black and they're sitting on an upturned glass chopping board that gives me a smooth surface and under that a printout I've made of a Ulysses butterfly and I've separated it into the outline and the filling. Now we are going to cut out the black organza with the soldering iron which will seal the edges as well as holding all three of those pieces quite firmly together and then on top of the butterfly we're going to use this which is Textiva film. There's again three layers that have just been ironed together to give enough opacity to make it all look okay. Now with your soldering iron I find the very first thing that you should do is press the fabric that you're using, now it has to be synthetic fabric, onto the glass. And if you miss this step it slides around and it's much much harder to cut out. So you want to press firmly enough that you are sticking those layers through. And see how if we move it now it will wiggle from the bottom but the top stays secure. So I'm going to continue to do that on each edge. Now I'm using a variable temperature soldering iron and this is one that allows me to change the temperature so if I'm going too hot and it's going to cut through my fabric too quickly I can reduce it and if it's going to not cut through fast enough then I can take it back. And of course working with the picture under the glass shows me exactly where I need to do this to. Now you want to get your organza nice and flat because if you don't any bubbles will cut through without sticking all three layers together. Now you can do this to as many layers as you want. You can do it on a felt backing, an acrylic felt backing so it still bonds into the felt. It also gives you a little extra room so you don't accidentally cut through. Now what you can also do with the soldering, and I'll just show you even though we don't really need to do it for this piece, is with your straight lines you can cut them off. So by pressing a little firmer or upping your temperature or both you can then just peel that section away. Now one of the risks in doing that is that it will separate from the plate like this has just here. So what I'm going to do is just tap it down again just next to where it was and that will just hold it secure to the glass and it really does make it a lot easier. But there are certainly times where you want to just cut the edge of a piece of fabric ready for sewing and you don't want it to fray or if you want to blend two pieces together in like a piecing style. And that should just hold it to the plate. So one more up here, I'm just going to go across the corner. Okay, now to cut out the butterfly we can just see the outline or I can see the outline just through here. Now you want to be very very careful there's a big temptation when using a soldering iron to put your hand down near the tip which is exactly what you don't want to do. So we're just going to trace around that butterfly outline. Now one of the good things about a butterfly is of course it's an organic shape everyone's different if you make a mistake it really doesn't matter. So we're just going to come through. Now you want to work slowly enough that you have control and you are working on glass which is quite slippery but you don't want to work so slow that at the heat you've got your soldering iron on you'll burn a hole. Now the model of soldering iron I have is a variable temperature one, it has a little gauge on the front and I might just turn that down a bit and I think I picked mine up from a Dick Smith or a Tandy which I'm not sure if they still sell them but you can get them readily online. You can also buy them as wood burning tools or stencil cutters. They all do effectively the same thing. And The only benefit of course with that variable temperature being that 
you can have a little bit more control when using very fine fabrics because we can turn it down or with lots and lots of layers or very thick things I turn it right up so the butterfly is a little over half done and as you can see where it's starting to sit up you're getting a hole in the uh, fabric so I'm just going to hold that down closer with my hand Now when you're doing this sort of work, particularly when your face is as close to it as mine is, it's always a very, very good idea to wear a mask. And I usually wear protective glasses as well. And I usually have the extractor fan on overhead because I'm doing this on my glass hot plates. And you can certainly do it direct onto glass hot plates. The fabric doesn't stick. But in this case I want to be able to put the tracing under a clear piece of glass to use it as my template. There we go. Now this thing over here is basically you can use a piece of steel wool. It's just to clean off any build up that goes on the tip of the soldering iron. I'm just going to put that back in. And now I should be able to just remove this carefully. And I'm doing it quite carefully because some of these pieces are quite fine. And if they haven't cut through quite enough, then I'd rather use a soldering iron again and just retrace around that part rather than risk ripping into the fabric. There you go, one butterfly. Now we can now peel that off the hot plate and show you exactly what it's going to look like. But in this case I really don't want to do that because I think I'd like to stay there. So it makes it all a little bit more secure when I do the next step. So to start off with I am going to just flip the butterfly around which you can now see. And see how these edges are all nicely sealed. It's not going to fray. And I'm going to put the chopping board up this way and now work on the Textiva film. Now Textiva, with the three layers, is not quite opaque, but it certainly takes a little concentration to be able to see the pieces that you're cutting around. So I'm going to work close to where I am. And because it's so iridescent, you do need to change your viewing point. be able to see all of the lines underneath and again it just cuts it out the same way and what we're going to do after this is then come and actually put those pieces into the butterfly as you can see by this picture here it shows where they will get attached to so I'll switch this under the chopping board and then I'll just tap around these edges very very lightly which will then bond the layers together without actually putting a hole or hopefully not putting a hole very much now to do this bit I do need my head quite close to the text either and since I'm not wearing a mask so I can talk I'll turn the video off and do a second part later. <laughs> 